गुड मॉर्निंग बांधते ओके यू ऑल कैन हियर मी यस बांधते Okay. You can hear me. Yes, Bante. Yes, Bante. Yes, Bante. Okay. Now listen to this stanza now. Yatha piraha do gambiro vipasano ana. यथापिरहादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं धम्मानि सुत्वान विपसिदंति पंडिता Again, three times. Yatha piraha do gambiro vipasano anavilo evang dhammani sutvanam vipasidanti pandita Okay, let me recite uh, line by line, so then you can repeat after me. Yatha pirado gambiro. Yatha pirado gambiro. Vipasano anavilo. Vipasano anapilo. Evang dhammani sutvana. Evang dhammani sutvana. Vipasidanti pandita. Vipasidanti pandita. Again, two line by two line. यथापिरहदो गंभीरो विपसनो अनाविलो यथापिरहदो गंभीरो विपसनो अनाविलो एवं धमानि सुत्वान विपसिदंति पंडिता Okay, then listen to the whole stanza again. Yatha pirahado gambiro vipasano anavilo evang dhammani sutvana विपसिदंति पंडिता यतापीरहदो गंभीरो विपसनो अनाविलो एवं नमामि सुत्वान विपसिदंति पंडिता ओके नाउ लेट अस सी द मीनिंग यतापि लाइक Rahado, lake. Gambiro is deep. Vipasano, clear. Anavilo, unruffled. Evang, just so. 
Then when Buddha heard this, he passed a rule that monks should not go to the same house every day. They must go to other houses. And then monks stopped going there. However, Karnamata did not know that. Uh, then uh, she only knew that uh, uh, she had not enough sweet cake. And now she cannot give away her daughter. Then this Karnamata got very upset. She went on scolding these monks, insulting these monks. These monks are very uh, gluttonous, greedy. They prevented my daughter from giving to somebody. And she was very upset. Then this monk could not go passing her house because whenever she, she saw them, she would scold at them, insult at them. So one day, the Buddha went there. Then the Buddha went to Karnamata's house and then uh, Karnamata hid somewhere did not come out to see the Buddha because uh, she felt so upset and guilty that she even did not want to see the Buddha. Then the Buddha asked other uh, Karnamata's daughter made the Buddha sit in the, in the house and offered food. Then Buddha asked, uh, where is Karnamata? She said uh, she is hiding somewhere because she is uh, hiding and crying, uh, thinking that uh, she did not want to see the Buddha. She felt very embarrassed because that she, you know, that she insulted these monks. Then Buddha asked. Uh, uh, her to come out. When the Buddha asked her to come out, she came out and then uh, she reported to the Buddha the whole story. Why she uh, insulted these monks and so forth. Then Buddha asked her, Karnamata, did these monks accept what you gave? She said, yes. Uh, then they said, they accepted what you give, what you gave. Then uh, Buddha said, do you think uh, uh, those monks, bhikkhus, committed an offense? Did they took, uh, take anything by force? She said, no, they accepted what I gave them. Then, do you think that they have committed an office? She said, no. Then Buddha asked her, then whose fault is that to score them? <clears throat> she admitted that was her fault. Then Buddha said, you uh, made the mistake you confess and uh, and 
ask forgiveness of these monks. Of course, monks were not there. On their behalf, she uh, re requested the Buddha that uh, uh, accepting her apology. And then at that time, uh, she requested the Buddha to forgive her. Then <coughs> Buddha forg forgave her. After forgiving her, Buddha taught Dhamma. Of course, it was a very simple thing, but <coughs> Buddha made an occasion to teach the Dhamma. Then, when he was returned into the uh, monastery, King Bimbisara uh, saw the Buddha. Then he said, uh, send, a, send a messenger to pay respect to the Buddha on King's behalf. And this messenger went and did that. Then Buddha stopped walking. Then King uh, went there uh, to see the Buddha. And then King asked the Buddha, where did you go, Venerable Sir? Buddha said, I went to Karnamata, Karnamata's house. Uh, then he asked him, why did you go there? He said, the Karnamata was uh, scolding and insulting my disciples, so I went and taught her Dhamma, and now she stopped. Then he asked, uh, are you sure that she is not going to store, insult monks anymore? But they said, yes, I am pretty sure. What did you do? I taught her Dhamma, he listened to it, and attained stream entry. Attained stream entry. Then King was very, very happy. Then King asked uh, <coughs> Karnamata's uh, daughter to come to the palace, and he adopted her as his daughter. When he adopted Karnamata's daughter as her, his own daughter, he announced the to the kingdom, I have a duty, I have a daughter, I want to give her in marriage to somebody who likes to accept her. So then <clears throat> one minister said, of course, if the king, if she is a king's daughter, by all means, I like to marry her. So he came forward. Uh, then King gave her in marriage to this minister with all pomps, all gifts, and all she needs to live comfortably for the rest of his life. Then uh, Karnamata uh, got some people and asked them to watch for monks. She went, he sent people to four directions to uh, invite monks to her house because everything is now settled. She has set in stream entry. Now she has forgiven all the monks and Buddha has given a Dharma talk, but she could not 
for find any monk there. Then <clears throat> she knew those four monks who came to her house every day to eat sweet cakes were all monks. That means they were lay people until they became old. When they were old, they have become monks. And therefore, didn't, they did not know very much uh, rules and manners, etiquette. And therefore, uh, she uh, went to the Buddha and uh, told him that when it was uh, these uh, monks were not ordained young, they were ordained very old. I understand that they have no manners and etiquette. Then Buddha repeated this stanza and said, uh, in the meaning of this stanza, here you see Rado, Rado actually is uh, the Although we translated as lake, there's a traditional translation. Rado means ocean. When you divide ocean into by depth, you measure the depth of the ocean and divide it into three. First part is top. Our last part is bottom. And the middle part is the first part, the top is always moving by wind, and then a lot of waves and ruffles. And the bottom part have very big fish, whales, dolphins, sharks, and so forth. In between these two is the space is uh, part of the ocean, which is not ruffled. It's called anavila, unruffled. So this Pandita, the great learned person, wise person, having listened to Dhamma, makes his or her mind like that middle part of the ocean. Unruffled and clear. And therefore, that is what happened when you uh, learn the Dhamma. You remain very steady, not shaken by any worldly vicissitude. We mentioned this in previous stanzas, one of the previous stanzas. So that's what we have to remember. And that is the end of the story. And now we go back to the stanza and I want you to listen to it and uh, uh, recite it later, okay? Okay. Now listen to the stanza. Yatha pirahado gambiro vipasano anavilo evang dhammani sutvana vipasidanti pandita. Okay, now. Once again, let me recite, you repeat after me. Line by line, I recite and repeat, you repeat after me. And at the end, I make you listen to this young man's recital. Then I ask you to recite one by one by yourself. 
यतापिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो यथापिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो विपसीदंति पांडिता यथा पिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं धम्मानि सुत्वान विपसिदंति पंडिता ओके I like to recite first atanas. Yata piraha do gambiro vipasano anavilo evam damani sutvana vipasidanti pandita. Very good, Maitri. यथा पिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं दम्मानि सुत्वान विपसीदंति पंडिता गुड अनोमो यथा पिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं दम्माने सुत्वान विपसीदंति पंडिता very good इनोका यथा पिरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं दम्माने सुत्वान Pesitanti Pandita. Good. Nimi. Yata Pirahad Rado Gambiro Vipasano Anavido Evam Damani Sutwana Vipasidanti Pandita. Good. Upeka. राहतो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं धम्मानि सुत्वान विपसीदंति पंडिता देन यत पीरादो गंभीरो विपसन्नो अनाविलो एवं दम्मानि सुत्वेन 
vipassandati pandita. Okay. Uh, what do you call it? Milit, Malit. Yata pirahado, Yata pirahado, Gambiro, Vipassano, Anavilo, Ivan Dagmani Sukhvana, Vipassi Santi Pandita. Very good. Philip. Tata pirahado gambiro vipassani vipassano anavilo evam dhammani sutvana vipassidanti pandita. Okay. Uh, Varoni. Yatha pirahado gambiro vipassano anavilo evam dhammani sutvana vipassidanti pandita. Very good. Then uh, Maheli. Yatha pirahado gambiro. Vipassano anavilo evam dhammani sutvana vipassanti pandita. Good. Uh, hero Yukul. Yatha pirahato gamiro vipassano anavilo evam dhammani sutvana Pasidanti Pandita. Ah, very good. I don't think uh, our uh, our German Bikunish uh, recited. What happened to them? They, I saw them earlier. Okay. Perhaps, ah, yeah, Upeka and so forth. I think they are there. Okay. Now, friends, that's very good. Today we have a little more time to meditate. Now let us go to spend, uh, today we can meditate at least 25 minutes without any uh, trouble. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds, whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds, let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate a whole world, a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down or in a way, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision. Removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes near again to birth in the womb. 
Now let us meditate.
<laughs> By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the foolish, may I join always with the wise, until the time and attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering, may the fear struck be free from fear, may the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings absent in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, friends, let us end this session. Uh, I want to share my metta with everybody, those who are in hospitals uh, suffering from various diseases. May they recover soon, return to their normal life, practice Dhamma, and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff to take care of these people also find a way to take time off to practice Dhamma meditation and pave the way to attain liberation. And those who have lost their loved ones may be still grieving, may they be free from grief, and finally, they to attain liberation. Then, all those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, south, the southern, east, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, up above and below. May all these beings in these ten directions be well, happy, and peaceful. They all find ways to practice Dhamma and realize Nibbana and liberate from samsaric suffering. Okay. Now Upekka and Niroda. Niroda is in Upeka's place, so Upeka is Niroda's place. Oh, Upeka is in Niroda's place. In, in Perth? No, in Sydney, Bante. In Sydney? And in Sydney. Ah, ah, ah. When Niroda, she, she went back to her, her room, but she's now uh, 79 years old, and... Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm just sort of caring for her. Okay. So Niroda came from Perth to Sydney. She did. She did. She's back uh -huh. in Sydney. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I know Niroda for many, many, many years. Yeah. Uh, before she became a nun. And she organized my retreat. Right. And I went to, went to Australia and had a very wonderful time. Oh, I'll tell her that. <laughs> now I don't travel anymore. And mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, I'm very pleased to see her and you practicing Dhamma meditation and participating in our Dhamma Father mm -hmm. discourse. Okay, have a very wonderful morning or noon or what? Morning. It's 6 a.m. 19 morning. Yeah. Okay. 19 morning. Anoma is in... Uh, At home. Huh? In my house in Sydney. Yes. In Sydney? Yes, Bante. Okay. okay, you have another companion from Sydney. Yes. <laughs> Anoma. Okay. Nimi is in California. Right? Yes, Bunty. 
All right. Others are local. Oh, thank you. Have a very wonderful day. Thank you, Bhante. 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 Thank you, Bhante.